back to Uncensored. Now, we didn't speak about it briefly on the show last night, but wanted to revisit it today with a bit more time and some important voices. Notting Hill Carnival. Debates about its management and its future, they happen every August when police reports come out about the number of stabbings and arrests made. This year, around 2 million attendees at Notting Hill Carnival, of which there were 308 arrests. More than 50 police officers were injured and there were some eight stabbing incidents, including two young men suffering life-threatening injuries. This picture was also on the front page <laughs> oh, of wow. The Times today. Look, I've attended not the Notting Hill Carnival. I've been. I went there a few years ago. I love the party atmosphere. I loved the, a lot of dancing, a lot of food, a lot of excitement. People are just having a good time. But I do not approve of violence. I don't approve of what these young guys are doing, brandishing swords, brandishing knives, stabbing each other. Absolutely terrible. A bloody female officer got assaulted, like sexually assaulted. Like, what are these guys doing? I do not approve of that. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. So guys, please don't think that all of us are literally out there just trying to commit atrocities and do violent things. Not all of us go there to be violent or sexually aggressive. That's just one or two people, man. And I really hope those one or two people aren't going to spoil the fun for the collective. Understandably, there are concerns, but this year conversations are getting more heated. They're being fanned by the flames of social media, noisy influencers, and I'm going to put it bluntly, it's becoming about racism because it's an event with Caribbean roots and holds importance with the black community. Joining me to discuss all of this is founder of the Kingston Carnival, John Azar, Talk TV contributor Esther Kraku, and former Met Police Chief Superintendent Kevin Hurley. Kevin, thank you for making time with us. And I understand you, you've policed a few of these carnivals. Just give us a sense of what it is like preparing for one of these events. Well, it's, it's, a, it's an event in two halves, really. The first bit of it, particularly the children's carnival, is actually really quite a pleasant event. Um, but as the day builds up, and particularly when it moves into night, especially on the Monday night, it is actually quite frightening to be there, particularly if you're a police officer, uh, because it is extremely loud. You actually can't physically talk to a person standing next to you. And the noise from some of the speakers is actually visceral, gets your, your insides vibrating sometimes. And from a police officer point of view, and I'll just describe it as a constable sergeant there or inspector who are the ones on the ground. It's very intimidating because you'll get groups of black youths, if we're talking about it, bouncing into you, knocking, trying to knock you over, some of the police women being sexually uh, assaulted and so on, and you're very isolated, people committing all kinds of offences in front of scary experience. But the problem with it is, the first day, the children's carnival and so on, which is very good, and even on the beginnings on the, on the Monday is, is pretty good. But what you get then is gangs of troublemakers going there, doing robberies, exploiting really the absence of any effective policing. Mm. Gang fights occur. And of course, what we've seen is the stabbings, etc. So what are my thoughts on it? Um, I think we need to consider what it's like for the residents who live in that area, who for the most part have their life blighted for two days, but then hey, when they bought their houses there, they knew the carnival came around every year. So that's part of it probably reflected uh, in the price. Mm. From the Met Police point of view, it's a massive drain on resources. They have to call on the City of London Police and some other forces to bring it in. And just to do it as a police officer is a thoroughly unpleasant experience where you're subject to a lot of hostility, extreme um noise. Uh, and and quite often violence. Yeah, I, I understand what he's, he's talking about. Like I can imagine, because the last time I went, there were quite a few police officers there. What he's saying about it being a drain of resources, you know, perhaps he's right. You know, maybe the the organisers, the Nutting Hill organisers, need to actually you know think about recruiting more security using their own funds, their own money. And, and do hear all of that, um, Kevin, and appreciate you sharing your experiences as well. Uh, let's come to the studio, John, and talk about this. You're involved with Kingston Carnival, which has associations with Notting Hill Carnival as well. Um, when you hear a police officer talking about the experience of the event like that, do you acknowledge that there are safety concerns that need to be addressed? 
I, I thank you for, for, for having me. Uh, I, I think it, it's fair to say that if you pull together any big event, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be carnival, it could be England playing uh, Germany. If you pull together any big event, depends on who is going to that event, there's always a criminal element in, in that audience. And so I think let's, let's concentrate on, on, on the festivals that we're, we're talking about, not in carnival, historically was set up because he wanted to bring black people who uh, settled in London together uh, because they felt oppressed uh, and that they needed something to bring those communities together. So many years later, obviously, it's grown to become a very big event in, 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 in Europe. And I think rather than people like Kevin uh, continuing to harp on about this event being uh, very violent and, you know, police officers being fearful, we ought to look at the bigger picture. This carnival brings attention to London. Indeed, uh, the one we organize in Kingston, even though it's a small event, we bring people from Notting Hill Carnival, the mass bands coming to Kingston. We don't have any criminal element in Kingston. In fact, we organize, I would argue, that one of the safest festivals uh, in that part of the world is the biggest thing which happens. And therefore, I think culturally, somehow you feel as if when black people want to do something which is special for those communities, people agnosium criticize those events no matter what it is. Whereas, you know, Kevin compared uh, Carnival to uh, Glastonbury. There's a number of things which happen in Glastonbury. I haven't heard anybody complain to argue that they should shut down Glastonbury, Reading Festival, and those things. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I think it's, it's quite rich for people who criticize Carnival not to prescribe anything positive about what we ought to be doing with communities, mm -hmm. rather than every year when this thing comes along, they talk about only the violence. They don't talk about the good things that it brings to the area and how we should be harnessing what black people have brought as cultural migrants to this country and ought to be celebrating. That's what we do in Kingston. Mm -hmm. We show the borough that this is what we bring, and we bring the residents together to celebrate that diversity. Which, mm -hmm. And in fact, this year, we are celebrating well-being and promoting cultural diversity because post-COVID, we know that a lot of people from black and minoritized communities died, and we want to harness what we've lost and celebrate with people who really want to learn something from us culturally. And that's what we are doing. That's and therefore, it's not about stopping anything. It's about promoting and celebrating what we brought. I definitely agree with what you're saying. I mean, clearly, there are a few negatives about the Notting Hill Carnival, like the stabbings and the sexual assaults. That's absolutely abhorrent. It's disgusting. It shouldn't happen. But the positive is, it does bring communities together. Like, I've been there, man, and, you know, I'm there dancing away, and there's, like, a white woman there, there's an Asian woman there, and we're all dancing, bro. So it's like, it really does bring communities together. It does strengthen the bonds between different races, between different cultures, and it's just such a fun atmosphere. It's so lively, so much different foods to eat. If you're a bloody English guy, you can try some bloody jerk chicken, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's a fun atmosphere. You can really engage with different cultures. Guys, let's keep the Notting Hill Carnival going, man. It's, it's, it's a decent carnival. It's a decent carnival. But we just need more security there. We need more security. We need ordinary citizens to police the, the, the carnival as well. That's what I think would help. Because obviously, normal Met police can't do everything. So we as a community, we as a black community or whatever, we all need to step up and try to police the carnival ourselves. Because I don't know about you guys, but I don't approve of sexual assault. You mentioned the other festivals there, and Kevin brought them up. And Kevin, I will come back to you uh, for, for your reaction to that. But Esther, let's talk about this, because a lot of people do make the comparisons. Notting Hill Carnival versus Reading versus Glastonbury. We compared the arrests made at those uh, versus attendance. And obviously, arrests get made for all sorts of reasons, yeah, of violence or drug-related. It's hard to make apples and oranges comparison. But actually, Notting Hill Carnival, percentage-wise, was fewer arrests this year. Exactly. And I think that's what people need to put into perspective. Look, I understand what the, you know, um, the, the gentleman was saying about the difficulties with policing 
something like um, with Nottingham, Nottingham Carnival with over 2 million attendees and, you know, there will there will be incidents of, 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 of un civil unrest. That's that's a given. Um, that happens with even Glastonbury, which has, like, what, 200,000? So very, you know, tiny proportion of, of what Notting Hill gets. Um, but the reality is, if you put it in proportion to the actual number of, of people that go to Nottingham Carnival, actually, 300 arrests is, 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 a, success, is a success. And we don't, they, we don't often, you know, celebrate the Metropolitan Police. There's always sort of negative press around the Metropolitan Police. But I actually think this is one of the things that we should celebrate them the most for, because, they, yes, it does, it is a huge drain on resources, but it's done well. And mm. that's why we have so few arrests. And obviously, we can't ignore the violence, but that's almost inevitable. It's just about trying to police better and trying to give the police the resources that they feel they need to, to do a better and, and, and a job that they feel more comfortable with, because I think that's the issue here. One thing we noticed when we were discussing this in the production team was that a lot of the criticism this year picks up videos that are non-violent. It's just people celebrating in the crowd and they're being circulated wide on social media and by people in the US, uh, casting moral judgment on the event itself. Uh, for Do people, you think... People, people grinding. People grinding, uh, people, people twerking. People, people grinding, people twerking. Listen, they went for the cheeks and they got some cheeks. Uh, <laughs> and if you don't like it, don't go. Uh, there is no obligation for you to... That is real talk, but... If you're a bloody female officer and the black guys, because I saw that video and it's like grinding on them. That's terrible, man. You, you can't be doing that. I don't think you should be doing that. There's a line and you cross the line, man. You stepped over that line. There's plenty of women, man, to, to grind on. Plenty. Why, why are you going to go after the police officer? That's a bit, that's a bit weird. I don't approve of that. I don't approve of that at all. To receive some of the cheeks from the cheek gods, as we are seeing right now <laughs> on our on our on our but, screens. But John, do you, do you do you think that people are using the discussion about safety, which is a discussion that needs to be had about the carnival, uh, but they're using that to basically cast judgment? Well, I I think you can't you can't ignore the subliminal racism which is taking place in here. You know, we we need to call this out. I mean, I think without mentioning, you know, names, you know, Susan Hall, who is the prospective uh, PP, uh, mayor, mayor candidate for London, is said some really, really dreadful things about black people and crime. She said some really terrible things about Kingston, uh, Nottingham Carnival. And I think we need to ensure that when people talk about Nottingham Carnival, as Esther is saying, we promote the positives which are taking place rather than just concentrating. I don't hear a lot of people any year, and I've been going to Notting Hill Carnival for years and working with, with the, 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 some of the mass bounds for years. I don't hear anybody coming out one year and saying, well, actually, this was a really successful cultural mm. event and that we ought to con continue well, to celebrate is, it. Most of the people that criticise Notting Hill Carnival, I must point out, haven't actually... Don't go. Yeah, or they exactly. haven't been. They rarely been. And every yeah. year I notice there are stories like this. And look, I'm not saying it's not important to highlight the difficulties that the police has with uh, controlling the public and, and, and tackling antisocial behaviour. Of course we should talk about it, but we should talk about how to improve that, how to make their jobs easier, mm. not to just paint it as a cesspit of violence, because actually, statistically, it's a pretty safe event. That's why two million people go. That's why it's the largest street festival in Europe. Um, so I think it's important to just have some perspective there. Let's cross back to Kevin. And when I do, Kevin, I'm going to get Susan Hall as uh, John brought up her remarks about people in the black community saying there's a problem with crime and that she since softened her stance, mayor or candidate, of course, saying it's very upsetting. I'm afraid we have this every single year. I would say move the carnival. It's where it can be policed much better, which is the same suggestion um, that you have. You've been listening to Esther and John in the studio. Do you have any final remarks you'd like to make about the way they perceive the event versus you as a policeman? Well, I think I think first points I'd make is that John, as I was quite right, that I having policed football grounds and dealt with hooliganism, that is ex extremely frightening. I think the thing, um, the point I make about Carnival again, it's it's an event of two parts. It's great, it's fine. I would have no difficulty going myself on the first day, as who I am now, you know, an old boy. <laughs> but I would not be hanging around on the Monday evening as darkness falls because there is a palpable change in atmosphere. And the point I make is it's not really whether or not it should move there or it should go to Hyde Park or wherever, is that to do it as a police officer is very frightening because of the fact you face such hostility when you're moving around the crowd at that event. And it's a result of what I would, what I, as we, as we talk about, I would call the Batari box of the policing experience in London in dealing with young black people and young black people being engaged with police. It's 
almost like a vicious circle, how both groups tend to react to each other, young police officers and young black people. And it kind of feeds itself in very negative. Well, of course, there are plenty of young black people who attend the Notting Hill Carnival who are very calm. They just eat their bloody jerk chicken, drink their super malt. That's me. That's what I be doing. You know what I mean? We're not all the same, guys. We're not all the same. Not all of us are going to the Notting Hill Carnival to, to cause aggro. So you need to take that into consideration. A lot of people, a lot of Brits are like, oh, all these young black guys are going crazy. But that isn't necessarily the case, guy. It isn't necessarily the case. Terms. How you break that, if you like, psychological situation, I don't know. But it's one of the reasons why the carnival is very unpleasant to police uh, as a police officer. And Kevin, John's right. You know, Kevin. It's a cultural event. Yep, it is a cultural event. We have just run out of time. Uh, but interesting points there. Thank all three of you for that. So that was a very, very interesting video about the Notting Hill Carnival. Should we cancel it? Should we keep it going? Should we keep it running? Like I said, me as a black guy, I go to the Notting Hill Carnival to experience culture, to, to have some fun, to dance, to eat some jerk chicken, to drink some super malt, to dance with white women, to maybe like tap an ass or two. Maybe. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going to do that often. I'm just saying. And, and yeah, I'm just there to have a good time. The thing is, if you cancel the Notting Hill Carnival, you're going to be upsetting a lot of a lot of innocent people. Not everyone is there for violence. Don't paint us all with the same brush, <laughs> you know? Just because there are a few stabbings doesn't mean that all black guys are doing the stabbings. What I think should definitely happen is the organisers of the Notting Hill Carnival need to hire more security. And I believe that we as a black community need to start policing ourselves. I think that's one of the best things you can do. Well, so anyway, please... guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and follow this channel guys because I'm going to be making so many reactions, so many commentaries and I'm pretty sure every single one of you is going to love them. So yes, subscribe, follow, stay locked and I'll see you later.